the hardest thing for me was um, what to keep out. Some personal things. Uh, I talk about death in there, the death of my parents, the death of three older brothers. Uh, I talk about some reckless years in my 20s and 30s in Toronto. Um, and my fiance, Amanda, she read the first draft and said, ooh, I wouldn't put that in, that's just too personal. And I thought about it and I thought, okay, uh, there are some things that are too personal for <laughs> people to read in a book. Uh, maybe they don't need to know certain things. Yeah. Um, but uh, that to me was the hardest. And even when it was done and back and forth with the, uh, their editor and their publisher, uh, I realized I still have a few more stories that I haven't told. So I started writing some more stuff down. And someday in a year from now, a year and a half from now, if the publisher Second wants, version. To, wants to re revisit the idea, edition number two, with more pictures, more stories, more of whatever hopefully people will enjoy from this book. And I'm hoping people will. And the idea to me is also, if you have no idea who the heck I am, if you've never seen me on the air interview anyone, if you have no idea you know, what I've done in my life, you can still pick it up and read it and find it interesting. 